my name is Courtney and I'm a firefighter with the Lockport Township Fire District and today we are hosting our first kids cooking class. We thought it would be a fun activity for you guys to do while we're you know the stay at home order and self quarantine. So um, the first thing we're going to teach you today is how to make sloppy joes. This is the first thing that I learned how to cook as a kid so I thought I'd teach you guys how to cook it as well. So as we go through uh, our ingredients and our cooking, we're also going to teach you some fire safety tips and some safe cooking techniques, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a kitchen towel here and I'm gonna put it underneath my cutting board. And the reason I like to do this is so that when I'm chopping my green peppers, the cutting board doesn't slide anywhere, okay? Because if it doesn't slide, then that's less chance that I'm gonna cut my fingers, all right? So, first thing we'll do is we're going to cut our green pepper and onion. To save time, I already cut up some onion here. I'm going to use red today, but you can also use white or yellow. Uh, I like to use sweet onion sometimes. And you can also, if you don't like onions, you can leave it out. It's not a big deal. So to start, I have my Kid Safe cooking knife here. I borrowed this from my niece, Emily Dangler, and she's going to let me use it today so that I, uh, I can cut this safely. Okay. First, we'll start by cutting it in half, okay? Then we'll remove the seeds. We're gonna use about half a green pepper for this recipe, so we can save this one for later. And also, before I started, I did wash my hands, okay? We wanna make sure we keep our germs to ourselves. And then as we cut this, we just wanna make sure we keep our fingers away. That's the most important part about chopping. Take our time, and if, if you want to make this recipe but you're too young to use a knife, that's not a big deal. You can ask an adult to help you, okay? And then we'll just cut, these, cut this green pepper into little pieces, little bite-sized pieces, okay? Now if you're an older kid and you like stuff a little bit spicy, we can also add a diced jalapeno. I'm not going to put jalapeno in mine because not everybody at the firehouse likes spicy stuff. However, at the end, I'm going to put in some couple dashes of Louisiana hot sauce. And that'll make it just a touch spicy. Okay, so now as you see, even though this is a kid's cooking knife, it still cuts pretty good. Make sure all of these slices of green pepper are about the same size. That way they cook evenly. And I don't like a lot of onion, so we're only going to use about a quarter of an onion in this recipe, okay? Cut off these big ends here. Okay, set that aside. So about a half a green pepper and about a quarter onion. So we're going to start by preheating our pan. And I'm using a cast iron skillet just because I like how this works. But we can also use a non-stick skillet. Okay, so we're going to heat that over medium, and don't forget with a cast iron skillet here, the handle's going to heat up as well. Okay, so we're going to have our, our oven mitt ready, so for whenever we touch this or have to move it, we're going to keep this right next to it. So then once this pan heats up a little bit, we're going to put our pound of ground turkey or ground beef, whichever you like, right in there. I might turn this up just a, just a touch, and then we're going to brown our ground beef or ground turkey. So one thing I want to show you is we always want to make sure our oven mitt or if we're using a towel to cover this, we want to make sure this stays away from the open flame, okay? Because if this gets too close, it can catch on fire. That's real important, okay? Also, one thing I always like to do is make sure this handle is to the right or left, okay? Because that way, it's out of the way of other people. If we leave the handle like this, your younger brother or sister could easily knock it over. Okay, so we keep that all the way to the right or left. We have our oven mitt, and then we set it away from the open flame. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna break up this ground turkey. We wanna brown it on all the sides. And then what you can do, you can just kind of flip it around. So 
We're just going to keep breaking this up until it's all brown and nice and crumbly. Okay, as you can see, our ground turkey is all browned up here. Took a couple minutes. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drain the fat out of here. Okay, so we'll turn our burner off. I'm going to grab both of my oven mitts and come over the, st uh, the sink where I have a strainer. Okay, drain all that out and we're going to let it rest for a minute. And in the same exact pan, I'm going to brown my green pepper and onion. Okay, now we're going to saute our green pepper and onion. I put a little bit of butter in there. You can use oil or you really don't need to add anything if you don't want to. It's not a big deal. So, and again, you can omit the pepper and onion, not a problem. I just think it gives it a good little flavor. Okay. So we're going to saute this for a couple minutes until they're a little soft. We'll say two or three minutes. Okay, so our green pepper and onion here is sauteing up nicely. So now I'm going to grab my oven mitts, go over to the sink, and I'm going to add the ground turkey back in here. Okay. Give this a quick little stir, and then we can add our sauce. We'll turn it down a little bit with a medium heat. So the base of our sauce is going to be ketchup and barbecue sauce. And then I'm going to add a little bit of Worcestershire and some brown sugar and some spices. So one thing I like to do when I'm adding or measuring wet ingredients is I take my measuring cup and I like to spray with a little cooking spray. That way, whatever I pour in here comes out real easy and I don't waste any. So I'm going to do a half a cup of ketchup. See, it came out pretty easy. And then we'll do a half a cup of barbecue sauce. You can use any kind you like. You can do, I like to do a sweeter barbecue sauce for this recipe. But you can also do a spicy one. So it depends who you're cooking for. And then about two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. No particular brand. Okay, let's give this a, a little stir here. Just, just be careful because it can get kind of messy. It's all coming together here. Okay, now we're going to add, I already measured these spices out, but we're going to add four tablespoons of brown sugar, about a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of pepper, again you don't have to add all that if you don't like it, and a teaspoon of granulated garlic. Turn this back up a little bit. And we're going to give it a nice stir. And we want the sauce in here to kind of come to a boil so that that brown sugar can melt and get a nice little consistency for all the ingredients. And then if you like, you can add a couple dashes of Louisiana hot sauce. Just like that. You don't have to, but the guys in the firehouse like stuff a little spicy. Okay. Now while our ingredients are mixed up, we're just going to let this simmer for a couple minutes. Turn it down to about a medium after it came up to a boil. Okay, and you can taste it if you like to see if it needs any more of the ingredients we add. Okay, now that our Sloppy Joes are all ready to go. We're going to put them on a bun here. As much as little as you like. And then I like to put a couple pickles on top. And you can do a slice of cheese or even shredded cheese if that's what you have. Here. 
You have your homemade Sloppy Joe. Well, what do you guys think of the Sloppy Joes? You made them just like we like them. Extra sloppy. Thanks for joining me with our little cooking lesson. I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you have a chance to make this recipe, please share your pictures of it or a video of you making it on our social media websites. They're uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Lockport Fire. Thank you.